Manihiki is an atoll in the northern group of the Cook Islands. It's just below the equator. It's an atoll that measures roughly about 44 kilometers around, dotted with lots of little islets. And in the middle is a, is a beautiful um, aqua green lagoon where black pearls are farmed. Predictions are done with the ocean and the moons and the stars and the sun. Science and traditional knowledge complement each other. They shouldn't be left apart. They should always be put together because one helps the other. Our Nino impacted Manihiki quite seriously. There was high temperatures in the water, so um, we had to drop our lines down to a lower level, and that's just to ensure that it was in a colder depth, not too hot. There are several points where monitoring takes place, and depending on where your farm is in that area, when they highlight that that area is at that temperature and the water quality is at that level, immediately we know what to do. And if it's too hot, then we don't touch the oyster. We didn't know that before. That's science. Um, and most of it before was just observation. We've come a long way because we've incorporated the traditional and the scientific information. Scientific knowledge is backed up with factual evidence and with data and what is currently happening here and now. But when we look at traditional knowledge, it's historical data. It's data that's collected and passed on from generation after generation. But if we correlate the two, there's strength in that and there's strength and quality in it. And for pearl farmers, we use it in that sense where when we now have a lagoon management plan that tells us with scientific information about what we can do on the farm, what we already know concerning the weather helps strengthen that the decision making that we need to make on that very day.